What is up YouTube? It is Baseball Nerd back with another MLB The Show video. Today's video, we got so much new content in the game. Second inning program dropped today. We got some new conquest map to do. No new showdown yet. We got a new event though. We got some new tops now moments. We're gonna go over the program and all the new stuff in the game in this video. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and come back for more MLB The Show content. Let's get right into it. First things first, the biggest thing we gotta look at is the new second inning program. Coming in here, we got a whole new reward path here, set two headliners at 40k XP. XP is at zero again, you have to earn all this XP again. A ball player choice pack, some standard packs, some second inning bronze and silver. Silver Ken Griffey Jr., a silver Chipper Jones, silver Frank Thomas, bronze Hank Aaron, bronze Don Sutton, and a bronze Brooks Robinson. Second inning gold packs has Ryan Klesko, Michael Young, his little shortstop card there for the Texas Rangers, and then Jim Hunter, also known as Catfish Hunter, right here for the Yankees. Moving on, we got five packs there. The cool Pittsburgh Pirates alternate home jersey for the 1970 team. Um, Balling is a habit pack. The classics. The classics for this pack. This one's not loading, so we'll move over. Uh, Future Stars card, Michael Kopech from a few years ago. They added um, Outlier, yes, Outlier 1 to his primary pitch. 99 on that fastball, insane velocity here for him, decent control, pretty good break too at certain points, not a bad card here to use, it is an 87 overall, so not going to be dominant, but he's got the hard, hard velo. This Brad Miller card is actually fun to use, I feel like he's always a glitchy utility guy, he could play every position on the field except for catcher, he has 98-115 against righties, 69-76 against lefty, doesn't hit lefties great, but he is a righty killer. Back over here, it's not loading, but it is Austin Riley's third base. I believe it is his future star card as well. Gold defense here for Austin Riley, 30 or 89 on the arm. 79-68 contact, 92-95 power, a lot of pop in that bat. He can also play first and left field. Moving over, we got some icons, some unlockables, set three headliner, gold ball player pack, bat skin, five standard packs, another headliner, and then the second inning bosses. Looking at them, this is what we are here for. The Jason Bay new legend left fielder can play center and right. Not amazing fielding stats, not great speed, but not bad speed. I'd probably leave him in left if you did cop him. But 92, 96 against righties and then 106, 100 against lefties. He absolutely can hit both sides of the plate. Doesn't matter who is on the mound, left-hander, right-hander, he can hit either of them. Nice bat here. Now, I don't know, I've never used his card. Obviously, he's a new legend, so I don't, I don't know how his swing is, but... Left fielder, not a bad not a bad card right now, 95 overall, not a bad hitter for sure. This next card is who I will be picking. Let me just say this 300 save club here for Lee Smith. This card art is insane. I love it. It looks so good. The 101, 122 per nines, 90 control, 97 velo, 91 break. He's got the four seam, the slider, the cutter, the fork ball. He's got really good control on the top three pitches and decent control on that fork ball. And then pretty good break on everything, especially that slider. This card looks like a huge W. This is definitely who I will probably be picking in this program. Don Mattingly, I never really love his cards. He's a high contact guy. Got decent power against righties, but n nothing crazy, especially against lefties. He's a really good fielder. Um, you can stick him at first or third or in the corner outfield spots. I'd probably leave him at first or third. Um, not great speed. I don't necessarily love Don Mattingly's swing, but if you are a Yankees fan or a Don Mattingly fan, this is definitely a good card that you could use at first or third for a while if you want it. I just don't like using a corner infield spot for somebody that doesn't have power against both sides. That's just me specifically, though. If you love Don Mattingly, definitely go ahead and get yourself some Don Mattingly. Moving on, though, in the program, after you get the bosses, gold ball player packs and ball is a habit, some standard packs, another cool jersey there, that Phillies blue jersey looks really good. Classic Stadium 10 pack, Diamond Ball Player, Space 2 pack, 10 pack bundle, and then at 650 XP again, another Live Series Diamond Choice pack. I have a full Tatis out of this one the last time, so maybe we can get lucky and get another 89 overall player out of this pack. So come down here, same way to earn your XP, do your daily missions, play games, do things that you can exchange or just knock out any of those missions. And these missions right here, competitive dubs, get 10 wins on competitive online modes. So rank seasons of BR and events, 21 run street, score 21 runs with prospect rookie or breakout series players and rank seasons of BR or events. And then speed demons, steal 10 bases with any player 
online ranked seasons battle royale and events so knock these out playing the game will help you get some of these uh, make sure you have these guys in your lineup at least a couple of them when you go to br ranked or events will help you knock these ones out as well these will net you some good XP right here. Looks like 17 and K XP just from doing those. Second inning Martian Conquest map. If you want to go over here to the Conquest map, I already started just because I felt like it. I love doing Conquest. I love knocking this out. Um, this is also where I will put other people on my squad to knock out some Team Affinity missions. I'll put some of those players on my squad to come in here and knock out their Team Affinity missions, get closer to Team Affinity for the ones I haven't finished yet, as well as knocking out this Conquest map. Probably throw my created player my ball player on my team too to knock out this showdown map i pretty much just started taking as many plots of land as i could expanded every which way i could and now i'm stuck at these points where i have to start simulating games to take over spots and i feel like i have a really good chunk taken up so i can add players when i reinforce i'm going to add so many fans to every spot that i will probably beat this pretty quickly in my opinion and then the last but not least way to do this is collections. The second inning collection, you come here, it gets you 50k XP, but you have to have Fernando Valenzuela, Kenny Lofton, and Mike Piazza. You get 15,000 stubs back, but looking at these guys, they're all going for around 45k. Except for Fernando, he's going for 54, 52k. So, you know, at least 50k for all three of these guys around there. That's 150 stubs. Unless you have one of them, then maybe 100 stubs. The 100k stubs get 15k back. That doesn't really help you out much. It's kind of, you know, paying almost 85, 90,000 stubs to get 50k XP. So if that's what you want to do, go right ahead and do it. But that is the second inning program. Moving over, though, we have some new things as well. Like I said, we have a new event. The event now is Legends and Flashbacks in the Outfield. And then Live Series, Infield, and Pitchers or Common Players. It's always or Common Players. If you don't have people to fill those gaps, it's going to be Common Players for you. But your max team overall is 92. Six inning games, but quick counts are on. Quick counts, basically, you'll start off in a bat with like a 2-1 count or a 1-1 count or something like that. So it kind of speeds up the pace of play. And then the difficulty is on all-star, not bad there. Looks like the rewards are still the same. I didn't play much of the last two events, so I haven't seen them. But it looks like it's pretty much the same exact reward path if you want to get to 60 wins and max out your rewards here. These are the new Tops Now cards. You're going to get a pack in the new Tops Now moments. This is for May, though, so don't worry. This doesn't help you get Buxton. This is not for April. The new cards are, though, you're going to get one diamond, one gold, one silver. The diamonds are Reese Hoskins, Jordan Luplo, Alex Kirilov, Travis Shaw. Silvers are Alejandro Kirk and relief pitcher Anthony Rizzo. From the moment he struck out, Freddie Freeman will be a really cool card to use. I'm happy they did like an out-of-position player like that. I think that's really fun, so I'm really excited to use that card. Even though he won't make the main squad, it's still a fun card to have in the game. Come over here to buy packs, though. Make sure you, you have 9 days and 23 hours, so you basically have 10 days to come in here. You buy this. It costs you zero stubs. They're giving you this for free. It's 8 packs plus 10k stubs, so at worst, you're going to get 10k stubs. You get a 42 series player from the collector's pack. You don't get to sell them, though. They are a no-sell, but that still gives you an 88 overall to add to your squad, as well as a diamond ball player pack. Um, I believe this will give you two perks and diamond equipment. And then you get some standard packs. You also will get 10 Team Affinity um, Showdown vouchers, which will help you out with your Team Affinities. So let's go ahead and buy this free pack, and let's open them up. So you get five standards. Like I said, you get the 10 Team Affinity Vouchers, the 42 Series Player, and then the Diamond Ball Player Choice Pack. Let's open this up first. I'm going to go ahead and take the El Nino, the Kid. And then over here on these perks, I'm just going to take Fielding and Speed because I don't use a Ball Player, Starting Pitcher, or Reliever. Let's get our Vouchers claimed right here. Put them all over. Now we have 10 of these bad boys. This Choice Pack. Like I said, you can't sell this pack, but if we're going to collect them, might as well take the most expensive guy, which appears to be Cal Ripken, but I'm going to take Bob Gibson. Now we got five standard packs. Let's see if we can get a little something good out of these standard packs since they're free, you know what I mean? Nothing on the first one. Nothing on the second one. Ooh, a diamond. We got a diamond in the five free packs. Let's go. Purple hitter. 
Alex Bregman. We'll take that at 86 overall. We already have the Astros completed, though, so I will be able to sell him for profit. That's awesome. Nice little diamond pull there from the free packs. Two more packs. Let's see if we can get another diamond. That would be insane, and I would appreciate it a lot, Ramon. No, no double dipping today, but I will take the free Alex Bregman, the 10K, the free Bob Gibson, and the vouchers for Team Affinity. So guys, get started grinding some XP, knock out that showdown, start getting your way closer to those second inning bosses, as well as go claim your free eight packs plus the 10K stubs you can get from that free pack from San Diego Studios. That's a huge W that they gave that to us. I think it's well-deserved. Um, not to talk bad about the game, but with all the server stuff and the slow game and, and getting kicked out and the freezes and all that stuff, I think it's definitely deserved for them to do that, and I appreciate it, um, as well as us pulling Alex Bregman. That makes it that much better. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video, though. Appreciate you guys. Peace.